I realized on that day was it's my job on a date to go out and be the most grounded, authentic, masculine, real version of myself that I can be. And not to go out to impress women. Not that I don't want her to have a good time, but I'm not gonna go out, especially with somebody I barely know, and make it my job to win them over. My job is to be me. Now again, the most confident, grounded, relaxed version of me, but be me. And if she doesn't like that person, that's too bad. So in this video, I want to talk about my worst date ever. Well, is it my worst date ever? I don't know that it's really my worst date ever, but I think it's the date I really learned a lot from. It's something that made a radical shift in my life. And I think it's something that can make a radical shift in your life. You see, at this point in my life, I was terrible at dating. I didn't know much about dating and I, I was just trying to figure it out. So I was just trying to get dates to figure it out. And I got this date. It was on one of those old phone services where we were talking online uh, through a phone and we met through a phone and we got to know each other through the phone a little bit. Now, I had never seen this woman. There was no trading pictures, no texts or anything like that. It was just a phone conversation. But for some reason, I got it in my mind that I needed to impress this girl. I need to take her out to a nice dinner. I need to impress her. She wants to go on a date with me. I'm lucky to have a date with her. And I was super excited to be going on, on this date. And, I hope it works out and it's gonna be awesome. So I picked this really nice restaurant. I made sure I dressed right. I got all ready. I put all this effort into it because so far I'd liked her over the phone. We had a few conversations, not that many, but it was enough for me to think, oh, I gotta impress her now. That's my job. I'm the man, I have to make this happen. And the rough part was when we showed up to the date, she was not at all attractive. She was way bigger than I like. Um, she was super needy. Uh, she was super trying hard to impress and she was leaning in, trying to win me over. And I realized, and this is the part that bothered me, that I had spent a fortune on a really nice restaurant, planned all this stuff out to take her out on a nice date. And I didn't even know yet if I really liked her. I hadn't even really gotten to know her, maybe one or two conversations on the phone. And here I am making all this effort because I felt like it was my job to make sure this woman got attracted to me, who I had never met and never seen before. And when I sat down in front of her at this really fine, fancy restaurant over a dinner, and she started talking, I realized instantly, I'm not attracted to this woman. At the time, I was pretty broke. I didn't have much money. And here I was spending a fortune trying to win this woman over. All because I was super needy. All because I felt like if I didn't get her validation, I wasn't good enough. And that really hit me hard. Now she wasn't mean, she wasn't rude. She was just really unattractive to me. And I was really disappointed in myself. There's nothing, nothing about her, it was all about me. This idea that I went on a date or that I was going on a date, it was a big realization and it was my job as a man to try to impress the other woman. It's almost like I see that in society a lot. You're, you have to take her out and impress her. You have to win her over. Oh, you screwed up. You didn't do well. You didn't do a good job. You blew it. And the truth was, I realized on that date was it's my job on a date to go out and be the most grounded, authentic, masculine, real version of myself that I can be. And not to go out to impress women. Not that I don't want her to have a good time, but I'm not gonna go out, especially with somebody I barely know, and make it my job to win them over. My job is to be me. Now again, the most confident, grounded, relaxed version of me, but be me. And if she doesn't like that person, that's too bad. If she doesn't wanna go out with that person again, that's too bad. But in no way, if they don't wanna go out with you again, do you blow it. And in no way is it your job on the first day to invest all this time, energy, and money to win a woman over. Your job on the first day is to decide if you even like her and you wanna see her again. Remember that. Do you want to see her again? That's why a lot of times, Nowadays, if I'm gonna go out and I don't really know somebody, I'll just meet them for tea or coffee. I don't know if I want to invest much energy into them, much more than a half hour or an hour. I'm just gonna go out and see. And that is so much more powerful because now I'm sitting down and I'm deciding, 
Do I even like her? Am I even attracted to her? Either I am or I'm not. I'll find out in the next half hour, an hour, and we'll go from there. Maybe I'll end the date early. Maybe the date will grow into something bigger. But I got at least, especially if you're doing the online dating, figure out if I like this person or not. And that is huge. Now, I've had much worse dates, and I can get into those. I get into dates with, you know, one girl who was just the most rude, obnoxious, angry woman. <laughs> it was actually a funny date. I had a good time on that date. Not because, not because she did anything to make me have a good time, but because I completely surrendered and said, this chick's a trip, and I'm gonna see what she does tonight, because she was getting drunk too, and as she got more drunk, she got more obnoxious, but those are other stories. Because the one that really taught me a lot was this girl, as sweet as she was, that totally wasn't my type, that I went out of my way to impress when I didn't even know if I liked her. And I will never, ever forget that. So what that did for me in the future was, I started to go out on dates to figure out for sure if I like this woman. I started to have that attitude and that's the important part. So I wanna invite you into that attitude. Do I like you? Because it's so much more attractive than do you like me? Change the attitude. Most guys are ch chasing women going, do you like me? Do you like me? Do you like me? And now even walking up in a bar, there's the attitude of, hi, I'm walking up to you, yeah, but do I like you? Yeah, you're pretty, I walked over to you, but I haven't decided if I like you yet because I don't even know you. Maybe you're too rude, maybe you're too obnoxious, maybe you're boring, maybe you're really interesting. Maybe you're semi-cute, and that girl over there is technically hotter, but you're way more interesting, and that's happened to me a lot of times. You walk up to a girl, she's kind of cute, and then within 10 minutes, this girl's fucking hot, all because of how she's being, the way she talks, the way she looks at you in the eyes. And that's what you really want to discover, because there's so much more to a person in their energy as you go deeper and deeper into this stuff. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. And I want to know, are you the type of guy that thinks every time you go out on a first date that you have to impress the girl? You have to win the girl over? Or do you go out trying to decide if you even like the girl? Like, I'm going to go out and see if I like her and I'll go from there. Because that's what women do, isn't it? They go out and they decide if they like you. They're not even sure. They're like, yeah, we'll see what this guy has to offer. Well, you should have the same attitude, really. What does she have to offer? Yeah, I'm gonna appreciate her as a human being. I'll respect her. And if you're spiritual, you can say, I'll even love this person as a human being. That doesn't mean you wanna be with them. Let that kind of sink in. And put that comment in the video and uh, let us know what you think. And on your next date, really keep this in mind. Now, with that said, I hope that you liked this video and you got some value out of it. Make sure to hit that like button if you did and make sure to subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of the videos we put out because we have a lot more coming out and from some of the other coaches too. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.